Welcome back to your Yankee Chronicle. I'm your host, Elizabeth DeRazio. Let's now hear about a proposed educational program at Kearsarge High School. We're here today to talk about the proposed addition on the high school, which will house and we'll call it the new Steam Wing. Uh, it's going to be what we'd like to call an innovation space that is going to allow us to offer more for the students here at the high school. So the proposed Steam Wing um, will provide us space and opportunities for students um, to engage with the curriculum in non-traditional ways, um, in ways that will help prepare students um, with the skills, not only academic skills, but also social skills, cooperation, problem solving, um, in order to really be prepared for the, the changing post high school landscape. So one area example would be uh, looking at a school store, for example, where we could mix in hands-on learning, where we could have students develop products, make the products, sell the products, do math and accounting to see if we're making a profit, see if we've covered our cost, and eventually sell them to those in the school or help other clubs or sports teams with fundraising later on with the products that we're able to develop. Um, so I've really become involved in this project through my role as a curriculum leader in our STEAM department. Um, my day job here at the high school is as a science teacher. Um, but my, my real passion is inspiring students to learn and apply their knowledge in creative ways. Um, so allowing a student to get credit for a science course, whether it's physics or chemistry um, or biology, something like that, by applying those same competencies, those same content knowledge and skills um, in some different way. So if the student can find a problem in the community um, or a problem that they are facing in their daily life um, and then demonstrate their knowledge of our science curriculum through solving that problem, then that student is able to demonstrate competency and therefore get credit um, for their demonstration of that skill. So one of the ways we're looking at doing this is again giving the students the opportunity to learn in the way they want to learn. Uh, an example would be whether you're taking AP classes so you can prepare for college, you're preparing for a trade school, a two-year program, a certificate, or even just going straight into work after high school. You can say, maybe I want to learn about the chemistry of baking. You could get partial science credit for doing a baking class and discovering what chemistry goes into baking. So our traditional educational model um, has done a good job of meeting the needs of what are a number of college-bound students. Um, we found that this traditional educational model fails to really equip those who may be maybe not headed for a four-year college or not enrolled in the uh, trade school down in Concord, but this group who haven't quite decided where their career path is headed. Um, but this facility would provide a space and an opportunity uh, for those students to develop what are really marketable skills um, and demonstrate their ability to apply them um, in ways that employers hopefully find attractive. The physical space would be positioned on the southeastern corner of the high school near where the shop is currently located. It would be an expansion of existing facilities and provide space not only for classroom um, but also for different kinds of programs including uh, potential culinary programs, engineering and robotics programs, um, technical um, education programs, um, and, and more. I mean, the, the opportunities only end where the student's ability to ask questions ends. So a project that could be undertaken here would be possibly converting a regular bicycle into an e-bicycle, looking at a self-propelled motor that is powered by batteries that is possibly solar charged. This is something we could look at in this space because we would be able to utilize cross-curriculum expertise, if you will. See, so we would have multiple staff members, multiple teachers able to contribute to this in one space so it could organically come together rather than having to schedule things three different places, three or four different times within a span of two weeks just to be able to get people together. This space would allow us to do that all in once all in one space. Um, the, the type of educational model that this space would, would enable um, would allow students in a very organic way 
um, to ask a question and seek an answer. Um, this inquiry-based education method allows the student to meet current curricular standards in a way that is meaningful and relevant to their personal experience um, and hopefully prepares them for a successful future beyond Kearsarge. What a great idea! YCN will continue to follow up on this proposal as it develops in the upcoming months. When we return, we'll get a few Halloween safety tips from New London's own Chief Cobb. Stay with us as we bring you a few words from local businesses that are still with us even through the hard times of COVID and we thank them very much. Make sure you support them.